Tomorrow, hundreds of people will attend the funeral of Christina Edkins, the 16-year-old schoolgirl killed on a bus in Birmingham. The service takes place at the city's St Philip's Cathedral. Her parents have described her as their beautiful princess. Our special correspondent, Peter Wilson, went to meet one of many young people who've made moving tributes to the teenager and posted them online. Darius Davy is one of Christina Edkin's many friends. He used to walk her into school. Tomorrow, Liso's high school near Hells Owen will be closed to allow everyone to pay their respects at her funeral. And like many teenagers, Darius has made his own tribute video with school friends releasing it on the internet. You changed me a lot. You made me realize how much you meant to everyone. Her heart stopped She was educated and she was bright. She was um she was happy, beautiful, welcoming, like everything about her. Every good like every good word in the world you can use could be used on her. It's just shocking that she's gone because I was with her the day before and it's just shocking. Christina Edkins died exactly two weeks ago from a single stab wound while on a bus bound for school. The 16-year-old's death has affected teenagers around the country, none more so than at her own school. They're like more as a, a unity now. They've come together, they're realising obviously life is too short, anything can happen. And Dewey's always used to say, he always used to walk her home from school. It was him, Christina and Lucy. And then the other day I picked him up at the bottom of the road where he normally walks. And it was only him and Lucy coming back. And she weren't there. The internet is full of tributes to the girl described by her parents as a beautiful princess. I just hope for the best, that she gets the best send off. People show loads of respect. Um, and everything they do is do it for Christina. And yes, and that's all I ask for is just respect for the family. Tomorrow, Christina Edkins' funeral will take place. It's two weeks ago that the awful attack on this young girl took place. While the flowers here are losing their bloom, the sense of grief and loss is as strong as ever. Peter Wilson for BBC Midlands Today near Hells Owen.